Dependencies are a powerful feature that are proven to increase conversion rates. Dependencies work by what is known as gradual engagement. They show fields that are only relevant to the user based on their selections. In this tutorial, we're going to look at using a dependency to show and hide a field based on a value in another field. For example, we'll only show the email field when the checkbox above it is selected. First, click on the field that you'd like to hide or show or make dependent on another field. In the Field General Settings panel, select the Dependency icon. The Dependency Editor opens and click Edit Rule to create a dependency rule. In our case, we're going to indicate that when the Receive Emails field equals Yes Please, we want to show the email field. You have the option to make the field visible or just make the field required, or make the field visible and required. Hidden fields are automatically made not required, so your validation won't be affected. You also have the option to animate the dependency. By setting this to true, you can change the speed of the animation and change the animation type. You can slide the field up or down or fade the field in. Select Save to save the changes. You'll notice that the email field is hidden in the live preview. If the box is selected, then the email field will show, but you'll need to generate a preview to see the animation. In the live preview, by clicking Yes Please, you'll see the email field slowly fade in. Deselecting it will cause the field to fade out. If you wish to change the animation option, simply click Dependency again and make any changes to the animation. Now the animation will slowly slide down. If you need to get rid of a dependency, open the Dependency Editor and select Remove Dependency. This will remove the dependency and show the field in the live preview. The last thing we want to look at is how to apply a dependency to a group or panel to hide a set of fields. First, create a group on your form. In this example, let's move all the fields inside the group except for the Receive Emails checkbox. Select the group in the form outline and click Dependencies. Click to edit the rule, and for this example, we'll indicate that we want the field shown as soon as the checkbox equals Yes Please. Edit the on match action if needed, as well as apply any animation that you wish to use. Select Save when you have finished creating the dependency. You'll see the set of fields hidden in the live preview, but when the checkbox is selected, the fields fade in. As you deselect the Receive Emails field, the fields are hidden. If you want the space that the fields take up to be reserved instead of collapsed when the fields are hidden, click on the item that has the dependency attached to it and change the hide mode to block. This means that when the element is hidden, the space that it occupies will not be collapsed. As you can see, the space where the fields are shown and hidden is not collapsed when that setting is enabled. That concludes the setup of dependencies on a single field and on a group of fields. Dependencies are a powerful strategy to increase your conversion rate, and with Logiforms, creating dependencies is as simple as point and click.